Well, hello, everybody. Uh, I'm James Vincent from Founder. We couldn't afford the vowels, so it's FNDR. There was a big Chinese company that had the vowels, so we had to be called FNDR. I'm going to talk to you about investing in the equity of storytelling. I might argue that every single day you invest in the equity of storytelling because you buy from brands, and brands are storytelling. And you don't buy from, from, you don't buy from products from things that don't have a story. In fact, money is a story. Everything is a story. Slush is a story. So actually, investing in the equity of storytelling is kind of an interesting concept. So let me tell you about it a little bit. So firstly, I'm going to introduce you to my team. Um, founder, as you can see, sometimes has vowels, sometimes doesn't. Um, so I'm lucky enough to be with three other amazing storytellers. We worked with some crazy uh, brands and founders over the last five years together. We worked together with founders to help them tell their story. I'm going to start with these three guys since I work with all three of them and collectively we work with them. Um, so I was lucky enough to work with Steve Jobs from 2000 to 2011 and um, ran the advertising agency uh, Media Arts Lab and had a meeting with him every single Wednesday from one till three. And during the course of that, we launched iTunes, iPod, iPhone, App Store, iPad, probably a bunch of others that I'm not remembering. Um, and all the time, the storytelling was around creative thinking, right? So I don't think Steve Jobs set out to change the computer industry. He set out to change the way you think creatively. And so now you all have a phone without buttons on it because he was about creative thinking, not about functionally solving a problem. Brian Chesky has built a brand around human belonging, so I worked with him in 2015, helped launch the brand, um, helped launch the Trips platform in 2016, um, and he was on my podcast, uh, Fast Company podcast, which I host, um, and telling the story of human belonging. So his belief is that seven billion people, I think it's eight billion people now, um, should have a, uh, can belong anywhere. So when you travel, you can belong. You don't need to be a tourist. You don't need to feel like you're alienated or isolated. And um, Evan Spiegel built a brand around authentic friendship, and we worked together in 2018. He was actually the first client we had at Founder. Um, and you know, all the while in social media, where most people are lying to strangers on social media, you don't have 15,000 friends, and just because you took a picture of a sunset didn't mean you had a good day. You're kind of lying to strangers. And on Snapchat, at least, you're building authentic friendships. So I have teenage kids. I know that they have a relationship directly with their friends, and it's through Snapchat. So they're brands. They're stories. And there's real equity in every single one of those companies. So that was the found, our founding story. And since then, um, Founder has worked with 130 founders. So maybe there's a brand or two that you've heard of here. At the beginning, we worked with Jose at Farfetch, we worked with David at Roblox, Enrique at Brex. Um, and then in the last uh, little while, I mentioned Snap already. There's a bunch of other brands up there. We worked with uh, Nicholas at SoRare and launched his NFT uh, trading cards. We worked with Titan, the FinTech. There's a bunch of brands up there that you probably recognize. So we've worked with every single one of those brands. But more importantly, we've worked with the founders. So our relationship, we don't work with companies unless we work with the founder. We're called founder. We work in a peer-to-peer -peer relationship. We work very much like I did every single week with Steve on a Wednesday between 1 and 3, where I had to orchestrate a conversation between us, and this time it's the four of us, where we pull the genius out of the founder and we figure out what their storytelling is. We figure out what their existential role in the world is. And so we build, we build narrative-led strategy together with all of these founders. So our relationship is with these founders. So, OK, so how am I getting to a fund here? Well, in an intimate relationship with all of these transformative founders, we, on average, spend 10 to 12 hours with each one of these founders. And we're pretty selective about who we work with. Hopefully, we're, and I'll tell you about some of the criteria. But we're working with some really, really interesting companies and some really interesting people. So we have this privilege of being in a front row seat. And we call it narrative therapy because it's sort of getting very, very close to founders. I'm, I might argue that we spend more time with founders than even a bunch of uh, other funds might spend time with founders. And the, the time we spend is really quality time because we're asking very provocative questions and we're building their storytelling together. So we have a pretty good sense 
of what kind of a founder they are. When do we work with them? We work with them at this moment. So in this growth moment, this inflection moment, what got them here won't get them there. And as soon as I show this slide to founders, often people say, let me tell you what my got, you, got me here is, but I really need to figure out how to tell a bigger story. And that's when we come in um, and help people do that. So during the course of this interaction, we got a lot of personal invitations to join cap tables. So I'll be like, you know what? We really loved working with you. We're just raising. Would you like to put in a check? And we're like, oh, OK, yeah. So I, I perhaps we're somewhat accidental investors because we're storytellers primarily. Um, but over time, we found ourselves in this position where actually we could put in checks at really critical moments very early on, often where other VCs and other funds just couldn't. And they actually didn't have the relationship that we had. And so founders were asking us to join their cap table. Um, so uh, over time, that basically became this idea of building a fund. So actually, uh, our first, uh, first check-in was uh, the wonderful Danny Reimer from Index, who said, why don't you have a fund? And so we're like, OK, well, maybe we should have a fund. And so, um, so what we did was we built this fund. And it's a, it goes through, you go, we always invest in the founders that we've worked with at Founder. So first, we've already always spent 12 hours with them. We've always understood their business, and we've figured out who they are through that process. So we end up building a fund with a point of view. And that point of view is as follows. It has principles. Those principles are we invest time before money. right? So we will never make an investment in, a fund, in a, an investor um, or a company or a startup unless we've spent those 12 hours with them. So I would argue we're you know, pretty intimate, pretty provocative, and we've figured out what a good founder looks like. Second thing is our criteria to work with founder is to be interesting and important. So I'm actually always thinking about my three partners thinking, will they be interested? Will it be important? Is it going to make a dent in the universe? Is this something important to the world? And if so, then we work with them. And, and then the very best of those, hopefully, we then invest in. And we also have a criteria for working at Founder, which is about, can technology, can it create positive human interactions? I might argue Apple is really focused on positive human interactions. I would definitely argue that Airbnb is, a commun is probably the biggest community-driven super brand in the world. Their hosts, the way the, the relationship works. When you go on Airbnb, you bring your best human. Because Brian Chesky designed for hu positive human interaction. And that's exactly what we're looking for, too. So our due diligence, I mean, the first step of our due diligence is the fact that we're always, pretty much always investing alongside amazing grade A VCs, right? So. Um, Oftentimes, they're some of the very best VCs. Those are, uh, our VCs are often the referral that we get. So a VC might be sitting on a board, listening to a founder saying, mm, I think they need some help telling their story. And uh, we get introduced and come in and help them. And so it's in that intimacy, we're then able to say to the VC, what do you think? They say, absolutely, that's why we put in $100 million or whatever they did. And so that's the first level of, int of, of um, due diligence. But for us, actually, our second level of due dil diligence is the intimacy that we have with these founders. And having worked with 130 of them, we have some sense of the types of tenacity and resilience that it requires to be successful. And the fifth one, which is beautiful, because founders are a small company based in Ve Venice Beach, California. Um, it's 22 people. And everybody gets a little piece of it. So we're a typical 20 plus 2. And the 2, the carry, gets distributed amongst everybody that works at Founder. Um, so that is, in totality, why we're investing in the, store, in the equity of storytelling. We'll never become singularly investors. We'll always be storytellers. The first thing we do, and we'll always want to be, is the Founder brand is about helping storytellers people tell their story better. The fund comes at the end when we want to extend that relationship and to go further with the founder. And often the founder is very, very keen to have us on the cap table because the value we can give, 
the number of times I get WhatsApp. I'm just about to make this presentation, James. What would you say? Which bit's good? Here's our new deck. What do you think? Here's our new website. What do you think? And of course, if we're on the cap table, then I'm responding probably more quickly than, than if we're not. So, um, so uh, that's it. I just hit zero. Thank you very much for listening. Um, Founder Fund is the equity of storytelling. Thank you.